This engagement is supported by the Arts Midwest Gig Fund, a program of Arts Midwest that is funded by the National Endowment for the Arts. Hello, I'm Jane Bergman, and Disruption is the title of a collection of four of my recent paintings currently on display at the Dwajak District Library. I'd like to begin by reading the artist statement that accompanies my show. Milkweed was everywhere when I was a child. In the 1950s and 60s, it grew along every roadway, across vacant lots and fallow fields, and between the rows of cultivated corn and soybeans throughout southwestern Michigan. There were plenty of places where monarchs could light and thrive. All that has changed. The indiscriminate use of herbicides along roadways, on lawns, and across fields, the elimination of fence rows to create vast expanses for the production of monoculture crops have so disrupted the life cycle of milkweed and monarchs that nationwide their population has plummeted 80% from 1990s levels. The paintings in my series, Disruption, are meant to call attention to the disappearance of these beautiful creatures from our landscape and to make us question the cost of convenience. For centuries, the eastern monarch butterflies have traveled between the northern United States and Canada, south to Mexico, in their miraculous annual migration. It takes four generations of these butterflies to complete the 3,000 mile journey and each generation must find adequate food and have predictable moderate temperatures to survive the journey. All this has been severely disruptive. Our use of pesticides and herbicides has almost eradicated the milkweed that monarchs depend on. The erratic weather patterns that result from human-caused climate change jumble the subtle signals that monarchs rely on to accurately time their migration. The paintings in my disruption series are designed to reflect this. I intentionally chose to use tall, narrow canvases that abruptly cut off the organic curvilinear shapes of the butterflies. The hard edges of the canvas form strict boundaries and prevent the viewer from seeing a complete insect. Each panel shows only a portion of a monarch, and the milkweed that is depicted is sparse. I purposely rotated the images to enhance the sense of dislocation. Even when they're viewed together, it is impossible to see a whole. Notice also that the color on each wing fades to gray. This is to signify their disappearance. Finally, I chose a staggered arrangement to further convey a sense of fragmentation and dislocation. The Disruption series is consistent with much of the art that I have produced in the past. I was trained as an art educator and taught for years in public and private schools. Working with children and adults, I stress the potential of art to celebrate nature and promote environmental awareness. My own work had largely been sculpture using recycled materials and designed to draw attention to the effects of climate change and its impact on endangered species. The loss of ice in the Arctic, plastic pollution of the oceans, coral bleaching, and the impact of industrial fishing. Recently though, I've been fortunate to study under a wonderful teacher, Sharon Ott, and to join the group of artists that comprise Blue Dart Art. 
with them, I'm working to develop my skills in painting and to promote the visual arts and environmental awareness in Southwestern Michigan. As you can see, I continue to explore nature and environmental issues in this new medium. In closing, I hold out hope that worldwide governments will move quickly to set aside 30 to 50 percent of the land for natural habitats. That we can begin to rewild the countryside and that monarchs can rebound and thrive.